Okay, so here uh, I will explain how my uh, SMS authentication with the Sophos UTM is uh, done. I will draw a little bit here. So let's see. We will start with a user drawing here. A happy user, of course. He goes to a web page www.google as in the sample video that I made before here we can see uh, this is from the sample video I made uh, before when the user goes to google.com he's redirected to a page for authentication. This is actually the UTM uh, web authentication. The UTM web authentication actually have a captive portal. Uh, the captive portal from the UTM looks a bit different. So we need to do something. But first I'll show you the settings here for the the web filtering I have the guest network I choose transparent mode uh, radius users and the authentication mode browser <coughs> to change the default uh, captive portal page from Sophos I'll do a little trick here. The default page will just ask you for a username and password. But we don't have a username and password yet. We want to make one up. So I log in here and go to var storage chroot dash http etc and static. Here we will find a file called auth underscore transparent dot html. This page contains the default captive portal which asks for username and password. Let's just delete it or take a copy first but at least delete this one. I will paste some <coughs> information here. Uh, that is my text. It contains a redirect to an internal web server. In case the redirect don't work for some reason, I also add a static link. But most browsers will just follow the redirect directly. Let's save this file and exit. So was a redirect to my internal web server. It's outside the page here. I will move the paper a bit here. So you see this URL here that is where I got from the redirect and that's on my internal web server so how did UTM handle this action since I didn't do any authentication I have made an exception rule here SMS auth portal whatever uh, I have to skip the authentication 
to my internal web server. Let's see the details here. I have some other rules also. I skip caching. caching. The most important part is the authentication and the target domain. As you saw, the internal web server asked for some input. Firstly, the telephone number. And then uh, the name. That could be optional. That's just for making a kind of phone book for internal use. Now, my internal server generates a random password. Actually, the phone number that I did type becomes my username, and then I generate a random password. And then the server adds the username, and that is the phone number, and the password to my radius server, which is a free radius server. Very easy to configure and uh, set up uh, with uh, SQL authentication. I will show you the radios, radius uh, setup here at the UTM. You can see here the internal server port 1812 is uh, default and a password and of course I have done tests and stuff there so I know that works the connection there. So now I need to send an SMS with that generated password. I will um, write some more information about how the sending is done. Uh, one way uh, that I've been using here is to have uh, an uh, API uh, service uh, that sends the SMS for me. So I just need to post a message to an uh, API uh, service. Uh, I have also tested setting up my own GSM, GSM modem. Uh, it seems kind of slower. So I don't know why the API service managed to get faster than uh, your own GSM uh, modem, but that's it. I also tried setting up a Skype connection uh, with the Skype, Skype uh, API. I uh, also could send uh, SMS messages, but I fancy the API uh, message of uh, a provider that uh, we're using. So, the user now should have the password on his phone. So then we just ask for the input from the user. This is the page we got to last here on the demonstration video. Now that we have the username and the password of the user, we need to post this back 
to the UTM's web authentication. So we post the username that was the pass the, the telephone number and then the password that was generated and sent on SMS. Here is the code used for the form. I post this to passthrough.fvnotify.net login. Uh, that is the username here and the password here that's posted. And a little JavaScript that automatically do the posting so the user don't need to click yet another button. Now the user gets to a web page either the one he originally tried to get to or a web page that you have set up uh, in, uh, in the redirects earlier. I will try to explain this at my blog uh, later. So we came to the end of this video. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope you follow my uh, blog at uh, rxtx.no. Thank you. Bye.